Damn near pooed my pants. So last night I decided to announce to the Facebook world that we had started a YouTube channel. Hadn't told anybody about it yet. Kind of been holding off, wanted to get some content out there uh, so that there was something for people to actually watch. I've been on Facebook all morning, looking at all the comments. Everybody's gone nuts, really super supportive. Um, I went from like five subscribers to 125 overnight. Super excited about that. Really appreciate everybody that subscribed and liked and shared. Uh, really, really meaningful to us. So thank you so much. Here we are in the midst of uh, Hurricane Ita coming on its way. It's November. Why are we having more hurricanes? We may be changing the video to uh, how to lock down a bus and make it uh, hurricane proof. We're gonna go in there now and I'm gonna go check out and see if I've got any leaks. We've got a lot of rain last night, a fair bit of rain today. Maybe we've got a, a leak or two that I gotta address. I hope not. Anything? All my window sills so far seem quite dry. All of the sheet metal, the outside skin looks good. Floor's looking pretty dry. And I do see some moisture coming through. Looks like I've got a wet spot there. I'm gonna have to investigate that. And look at that, water on the floor. Uh, looks like we're right above the uh, emergency hatch. So it's probably coming in from there somewhere. But that's it. I'll be pretty darn impressed. Feeling good, babies, I'm feeling good. What I think I'll do is start working on the roof furring strips. I think I'll draw out a template, figure out what size, how I want it to look, and go hit the bandsaw, which I just bought the other day for this purpose because I've always wanted one. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about furring strips on the ceiling, and what people do, it seems, here on this rooftop panel is they add you know, a bunch of pieces of wood, cut out 100, 200 different pieces of wood and they attach them all along the different ribs. And that gives everybody the opportunity for when they put their ceiling panels on to be able to screw into something. But I don't really want to cut out one, two, three, four, five, 10, 50, 200 pieces of wood and screw them in. I'd rather have one long piece. So I figured I'd build a template. Never done it before, don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm gonna try and make a piece of wood that's long enough to span maybe half of this or a quarter of the, the roof that has this sort of curve built to it. I have a template built out and then cut out a bunch of them on the bandsaw. So what does all that mean? Well, it means I need to figure out what type of curve this is on the ceiling. Right, so in order to get the angle of the curve here, I am going to use a chopstick. Pretty darn good with a set of chopsticks. I got a marker here, and I'm just gonna scribe the outside and chopstick. Let's say, in theory, if I follow that angle, I've got myself a perfect template. Make it just a smidge bigger, and then that on one or two spots, and then that should be the start of a really good template. If I can just use two pieces of wood, then I only need four screws maybe for a hat channel on the ceiling. It's gonna save a lot of time and effort, I think. Having never done this before, I don't really know, but pretty sure. Don't tell Ingrid. But sometimes I don't know what, what I would do without what? you. Sometimes I don't know what I would do without you. Oh. I knew she was listening. She did actually help me. Thank you, Ingrid. You're uh, so we talked about the shape and design of my roof template, and we've come up with the, the simple way to get the bottom shape. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> so, the, yeah, the, that's a good question as to whether or not that'll be enough. There'll be enough there. Have we checked to see if it fits on the other side? Awesome. We did it. High five. Smash that like button, yo. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. How? No, the problem is that. 
Well, so now we can, we know where it can be notched out as well, right? So I would say what you need to do first is cut out big one big long solid piece of foam and then afterwards notch this out on the wood directly so you don't break this template. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. This is Madeline. Madeline Lane Hildebrand. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Maddie was born. Maddie was born on May 3rd, 2020. Daddy's birthday. You were the best present ever. <laughs> Daddy got to deliver you all by himself too, didn't he? Well, he had the help of some trained professionals. But we did it right in the bathtub, didn't we? Yes, we did. Congratulations, Mommy. You're one tough woman. Side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Feels quite uh, flimsy. Dingle, dangle. No! <sighs> this is what wastes my day. I should have at least brought the jigsaw so I could make these minor adjustments. Now I gotta walk all the way to the back, go get the thing. Freaking annoying. All right, I've got the template drawn out on this piece of one by four. Uh, I'm just gonna cut it down, jump onto the bandsaw, Having never used a bandsaw, I'm surely not efficient, and that's okay. Uh, I'll take some practice, but I am finding that it's way slower than the jigsaw. The pieces that I'm trying to cut are probably too long for the bandsaw to begin with. So it might just be better to use the jigsaw, to be honest, which doesn't matter. I mean, I bought a jigsaw for this purpose, 125 bucks, got it off of Marketplace. Thought it would be cool to have. It is cool to have. I'll surely find some use for it. You know, for all the bull crap that I was talking about, this is gonna be so much more efficient, etc. I don't know if that's gonna be true. It might just be easier to cut a whole bunch of single blocks and then just screw a whole bunch of times in there. I heard people question whether it, a whole bunch of screw holes impact the structural integrity of the bus, etc. I mean, it's plausible, it sounds reasonable. Less screws, the better, right? All I'm trying to do is hang some um, ceiling fixtures, etc. So you used to take shop? In middle school. Middle school, okay. Well, you've got more proper education than I do then. <laughs> this hand doesn't move then you should be fine, right? I know it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed I'm pretty positive my shop class's teacher's name was Mr. Carpenter. 99% positive, I know the odds and the internet, this may break the internet. But I'm pretty sure my shop teacher's name is Mr. Carpenter. I'm, I'm actually like legitimately serious on this. Ready? Ready. All right, let's see how good mommy is at measuring. She's already saved the day for me. All right. So my method didn't really work all that well. Ingrid decided to default to the piece of paper method, which the piece of paper is pushed up against the, the inner curve of the bus and it's just drawn out. Now we've got the jig for the side curve and for the center. There 
is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? So the purpose of this is really just to see how well um, these screws will go in without countersinking them, without actually pre-drilling. Um, so I have a drill press if we need to do it, but um, let's see how much time it takes to actually get one of these in. So right off the bat, I'm going to say it's a pain. <laughs> but the feeling is all gone. Five minutes to cut one piece of wood seems really long. So I'm gonna try and time it on the uh, jigsaw. If I could take you back to my youth. Three and a half minutes with the jigsaw. It's fairly comparable. I think the cuts are cleaner with the jigsaw because I know how to use it better. Whereas with the bandsaw, it's a little, feels a little bit all over the place. Jigsaw is less scary. Bandsaw is not that scary, but a little bit. So I decided to go with a mask, uh, not for COVID, but because there's tons of dust floating around here and might as well be safer than sorry or sorrier. So here we go. Easy. A little bit of prep work, cut them out, but they went up it's so easy. I mean, I got a bunch to do still. She's my only oh. Well, it's another beautiful day in Florida. We get another day of building on the bus. It's uh, fingers crossed we get some headway. It's a weekend. I don't normally work on the weekends, but I think Ingrid is getting a little bit concerned. I don't know if we're not on schedule I didn't actually create one my original thought process was just like we would do a home renovation where I put a timeline down where am I what's my expectation what what's supposed to be due by this date I'm not really doing that I'm just kind of moving along so I have found some inefficiencies especially because you know I don't know that I'm not getting a full eight hour day at work in right I get up I get the kids ready for school I get them dropped off at daycare by 
I don't know, 9.30. So then I get back to the house, it's 10 o'clock, I finish my coffee, I go ahead and I have a couple sessions of YouTube to figure out how to do what I'm supposed to be doing today. I'm not actually getting anything started until noon. Right off the bat, I'm pretty inefficient there, but I don't know that I'm not on schedule, so I probably should sit down and put a detailed timeline together. If I am falling off or falling behind, then I can outsource the work, double time it, do whatever it needs to be done. Anyway, Ingrid's kind of nervous. Uh, yesterday we got the majority of the burn strips on the trusses uh, on the passenger side. My guess is in 20 minutes I'll have all of these up. Oh, I'm an idiot! Okay. <laughs> this is because I'm not a professional. Back to the point of walking back and forth and back and forth. So I've just come to the bus, did not drill the hole. And what I did is I essentially marked them, you know, I offset them, right? So I've got one closer to the outside and then one a little more in so that the screws. So these two will sit on opposite ends on either side of this hat channel. Uh, and then the screws will miss each other. You know, of course I want to pre-drill using the, the uh, drill press just to make the actual drilling easier, then all I have to do is just go straight into the to the metal with the drill bit. So now I'm gonna walk all the way back to the garage, which is not very far, but you do that 50 times in a day, it does waste a fair bit of time. So I'm gonna walk all the way back to the, to the back, use the drill press, and then come back and install them. So my 20 minute job is now a 40 minute job. Bye. Finley, hi baby, you need shoes please. And you can hang out outside the door if you want to talk to daddy. Did we do our yoga this morning? Love you. Love you too, baby. Bye. Bye. Pound it. Yeah. Get it. Let me see your shot. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Love you. I guess we couldn't see. Somehow we couldn't feel. I got holes in the wood, and now I'm gonna go and uh, put them up on the ceiling. So the wood is flush up against the metal, and for thermal bridging, we thought, well, maybe we should lower this and have a gap. We're just gonna run insulation straight over top of it. That EHP rollboard, we'll just run a strip straight over it, and probably just take some staples, bap, 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 staple it in, throw some glue on it, and throw some staples. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. So Ingrid's out with the kids. She went to her mom's. I worked on the bus today and did a number of fun learning exercises. Learned how to uh, frame out my windows. Nothing, nothing really um, complicated, I guess. I don't know. Just more exercises for me to learn how I want things to look. And so it's 4:30 like that. Ingrid's not home yet. I haven't eaten at all. She's got the only car we got. So I just hop on the one wheel and run over to the bar. Oh, I didn't bring my freaking wallet. You know what? Sorry, social house. I'll come back later and pay. These guys know me. I'm in there frequently enough. What's up, buddy? Very well, buddy. <laughs> Scared the living hell out of me. I'm sure it's very sweet, but I near pooed my pants. Just got a couple more firm strips down the center. I'm gonna screw those bad boys in. Done. You going for a ride? They're just too cute. Grandpa Roger. Say hi. Okay, let's try this one more time. Not doing this again. Ain't got time for this. Full stop, just kidding. Rain. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. 
bumped his head and went to bed and woke up in the morning. Hello out there in television land. You don't give up. Just to get the angles of the angles of the dangles correct. My oranges. My oranges. All right. So that's the hole press, hold, drill, drill, hold, pressed, drill, pressed, hold. For posterity purposes, taking a video where the floor studs are. The center is two and three quarters off of the uh, base.